Hi, this is a demonstration on forecasting wherein we take the values from Elasticsearch, model it outside in Python and uh, give it back to Elasticsearch. We'll also see the comparison between the forecasting results from the inbuilt Elasticsearch and the outside. So let's get started. So here I have a NAS storage utilization of uh, a machine every day from about June 2017 to March 31st, about 272 hits. Let's see how the machine learning job is created and uh, we do a forecasting of it. Doing a mean of the NAS storage using since the bucket span is one day, just creating a job called Elastic. And I'm using the dedicated index so that uh, all the forecasted values and other values would be stored in an index and it would be helpful for me to analyze it later. So the results are here. I'm gonna do a forecasting for about eight weeks. The newer version of Elasticsearch lets you forecast for eight weeks. So here the forecasted value is a linear trend with the values even changing minutely. So it has not captured the seasonal details. Let's try to model it outside. So I'm using Python and I'm connecting to the same Elasticsearch what we saw. And uh, this is the shape of it, the view of it. Let's start with the model, the decomposition, where it tells you about the trend, season, the cyclic and the residual patterns of uh, how our data is and uh, let's do a stationarity test on it and see how a standard mean and our original data looks like and we also run the ADF test nothing but the decay filler test to test the null hypothesis so here the p-value is more than 0 0.06 wherein we cannot reject the null hypothesis and uh, it keeps the time series stationary and let's see what does the boxcox transform say whether we have to give any transformation or not so the value is 1.5 and uh, from the boxcox transform values if i see the chart so one and one to two doesn't require any transformations usually what happens is we can do any logarithmic or inverse square root or square or cube to stabilize the variance in a time series that is why we run the box cost transform so as of now it is not required let's go for differencing differencing helps us to stabilize the mean of the time series uh, by removing the time series or and eliminating or reducing the trend and seasonality so this is what is the result after we do the differencing now let's go with the acf and pscf plot the acf and pscf plot helps us to get the uh, ar the auto regression part and the moving averages part uh, here we choose the lag which cuts the shaded region for the first time so you see the blue shaded region and whatever cuts the first that we choose as the p and q value which is nothing but the ar and the ma value now let's come to the model so here i have written the uh, seasonal part as well so for now just to check i just take out the seasonal part and i just run my model wherein the differencing is one and the acf and pscf value what we got is run so the value which we get here usually what we see is in the value we see the aic and the bic values so the aic value is the akai key information criteria which helps me uh, which is an estimator of relative quality of the statistical model it is a method to find the uh, the good fit or the best model selection so the lower the value the better so bic aic is almost same usually as a thumb rule everyone sees the value of aic so lower the better so that is the way we check whether our model is good or not so this is how the arima model is learned uh, from my original let's see what is the residual plot <coughs> 
so the residual plot should be randomly distributed with the mean as zero with the zero mean so this is correct and then let's predict so here you see without the seasonal part even we have a very uh, linear line which is drawn so now let's introduce our seasonal what I had just cut it before and just run the model once to see what is the result so here there is something called as uh, enforce stationarity and enforce invertibility where where the default values are true but I have made it false so this property tells whether or not to transform the AR parameters and the MA parameters the autoregressive part and the moving averages part parameters should be considered or not that is the reason I have just made it as false and uh, how do I come up with a number called 132 so usually our data set had about one 272 events in which uh, the data is captured daily so even for a trend to come up we need minimum two days of data so the two days of data amounts to about 136 and after a lot of trial errors I came to a conclusion of 132 with the lowest AIC value as I said earlier so our model is run with the stationarity so this is how the model is plotted and let's see the residual plot yeah the residual plot is also randomly distributed with mean 0 and let's see how the prediction works so if you see here the the previous value had a very linear line here without the seasonality when we introduce seasonality this has really taken the seasonal structure of from the previous data so I'll just try to increase it and see how my data really looks like I have given it for more than an year or so so this is how my uh, predicted value looks like so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll try to put this value into Elasticsearch because we took the value from Elasticsearch let's give it back to Elasticsearch and see how the data looks like so this is the code to create a sample index so let's see if there are any indexes already present over here so I don't have any sample underscore python index over here so I'm gonna create a new index so this helps me to create a mapping for that index and this will put all the records whatever is there to my elastic search so when uh, there is another concept of grid search wherein you can just specify the values of p d and q in what range you want and uh, give the number of iterations of 132 here and it will give you the best val the best model with the least AIC value so usually uh, you need not go through all the statistical things whatever we did and come to a conclusion you can just run a grid search with the appropriate values and you will get the required result uh, it takes a lot of time to run the grid search so I'm not running but it gives you very good results so here I think our sample python is created as an index let's create a index sample1 underscore python next date create pattern so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some three visuals wherein it shows what is the normal trend what is the uh, the trend which is forecasted from python as well as the forecasted trend from elasticsearch daily so this is how my data looks like which is my normal normal data i'll just make sure that i take one more window tell 
create one more visual with my data from my s arima model which we did we just did now and see how that is mimicking daily stories see this this is the value which we got from our arima model which looks uh, it which looks like it's mimicking the values which were provided from the from the python script and we can plot one more line graph wherein it shows you the which shows you the forecasted values from Elasticsearch. So what you do is you create an index pattern which includes the system. Since I had created a separate index pattern for our running of machine learning from Elastic. So this is the index which is created. I'll go with the timestamp. I'll just create an index over here and uh, do the same visual line graph on the index which we just created select the value as uh, forecast prediction and the same date histogram and daily so if you see this particular graph has a very linear trend with the values from the elastic search this is how our normal data looks like and this is the forecasted results from our arima model so you can tune the model depending on how you want um, so these are the parameters which will help you to tune the model uh, basically the p d and q and make sure that uh, the aic value is at the least so this way we can take out the data from elastic search and model it outside and give back to Elasticsearch and uh, whatever three graphs I showed you can put it in a dashboard and see what is uh, how, how best it could be compared and utilized. Thanks for watching the video.